Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad P14s Gen 2. Now, the model that Lenovo sent over for review purposes has an Intel Core i7-1185G7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM that I believe is soldered to the board, as well as a 256 gig NVMe SSD. We've got a 14-inch uh, IPS Full HD panel with a matte display. Uh, a Quadro T500, that is your dedicated GPU. After all, this is still part of the P-Series workstation lineup, even though it is the light version, since it is an Ultrabook. So they've given you a GPU as opposed to having none at all. Uh, you've got Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth, as well as the option for a cellular radio if you want an LTE connection. And that pretty much rounds things out. If you decide to go with a 16 uh, gig RAM version, you will have eight gig soldered to the board and eight that is not. If you go with the 32, you will have 16 soldered to the board. And of course you get the picture. So let's go ahead and get this thing out. And as I mentioned, this is part of the P-Series, but what you need to keep in mind is that even though it is part of the P-Series, um, it is really, in my opinion, a secondary machine. This is not meant to be the primary uh, because with the CPU-GPU combo that you have here, it is very much a light version, as I've mentioned, of uh, what you've come to expect from the P-Series laptops. So as long as you understand that, you know what you're getting yourself into. So we've got some paperwork here. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And let's get this thing out of the packaging. It has a 65 watt charger. Um, and I'm expecting battery life to be somewhere in the vicinity of eight to 10 hours. If we can get that, I think that's pretty good. Let me go ahead and open this thing up. Get a look at that right there. And again, all of the design language is ThinkPad as usual. Uh, we have a webcam top center right there, privacy switch. Uh, I believe this is Windows Hello capable. Uh, we have a fingerprint scanner, the typical ThinkPad keyboard and layout. Um, key travel feels good. So basically you are getting all of the niceties of a P-Series laptop, but again, shrunken down. And as long as you know that this is not going to be a workhorse, maybe in the Ultrabook world, it's a little bit more of a workhorse considering what it packs, especially the I.O., which I'm about to go over, uh, then I think you'll, you won't be in for any surprises. Now, I haven't actually used it, but I understand that is the whole premise of this machine. Let's see that full HD panel. I believe that it's around 300 nits. Um, if we can pull off 10 hours of battery life, I think that's pretty solid. And... You know, build quality is ThinkPad as usual. No uh, punches pulled here. And, you know, the, the Full HD panel looks fine. I think that you have to, as I've stated, understand that with a machine like this, to, in my opinion, it's really going to live its best capability out as being secondary. You know, you need to have a desktop or another workstation that's really going to be doing the heavy lifting. I keep reiterating that because I don't want anyone to be surprised that even though this has a dedicated GPU, it's not going to be the best when it comes to, you know, rendering or operating inside of Revit or CAD. Um, it'll be completely capable, but it's not going to run circles around anything. So we've got an Ethernet port, a Type A uh, USB port, some cooling, Kensington lock, clean backside there. That is where uh, the SIM tray is for those of you that are wondering. And then this is the balance of the I/O. So Type C. Uh, port, uh, port there, excuse me, for charging uh, with the 65 watt that I have here on my left hand. And then we have uh, another type C port, Thunderbolt. These are both Thunderbolt, I believe four. Uh, this one uh, also has the docking capability in the event you wanna use that. Another type A port. Then you have HDMI 1.4 output, uh, as well as a headphone microphone combo jack. And then last but not least, a micro SD card reader. So the IO here is pretty rich. Um, and then throw in the fact that you've got Wi-Fi 6E support, as well as the option of throwing in ethernet. And this becomes a, a pretty dynamic little 14 inch uh, machine. It's not heavy, you know, we're talking about uh, around, I think three pounds. So it's, you know, maybe it's a little bit more than three pounds, but it's still built well. Again, all the design language is already what you've come to expect. Uh, from the ThinkPad P-Series, but again, shrunken down. And just to give you perspective, let's go ahead and I will see if I can bring over for a second here, uh, just so you can see it, the P-15 that I recently unboxed. 
and I'll give you, it'll give you a sense of scale right now because again, the P15 and P17 are in a whole nother league uh, because these are true workstations, whereas this guy is really meant to be exactly what I've stated, just a portable version since the P15 and P17 are beastie. There is your scale right there. And again, we are talking about a 14 versus a 15 inch, but that gives you an idea of what we're working with. So a nice ultra book that I think will satisfy a lot of users as long as they understand the limitations uh, or capabilities rather uh, associated with something like the P14 S Gen 2. But this was just a first look and an unboxing. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.